everybody welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to talk about a stock that is about to go crazy tomorrow and why y'all should keep it on your watch list i'm also going to be answering some of you guys's questions like we always do here on this channel now before we begin again do not forget to annihilate the like button on your way in and also don't forget to click on that subscribe button along with that notification bell that way you don't miss out on these videos right so let's let's begin right off the bat we got the spy and today the spy the spy did what i told y'all it would do this morning which is which is good hopefully y'all made some money i told y'all in the morning to expect potentially potentially to expect a little bit of a dip here before we close at 4500 um it didn't dip so I was wrong about that, but it definitely just went all the way up, which made it convenient and didn't cause too much headache for people who were long. All right. It was a, it was pretty much a smooth ride to the top. And right now it's at 44.84 and it's looking like it wants to roll over. I'm not bearish on the market. And I think that there may be just a little bit of a I feel like this little thing that's happening right now is only going to last overnight. It's going to drop all the way down to like 4470, 4470 or 4472 before it bounces again into the open. All right. So I'm still bullish on the overall market. Let me change this thing to the one hour. There you go. Yeah, the one hour is not bad. I still think that we will retest these previous highs right over here where these individuals are at right there at exactly 4600 okay so definitely watch the market for a bullish move now the stock that y'all should keep on your watch list for tomorrow they actually had some bullish news i think it was today um the stock is disney all right and the reason why I want to share Disney with y'all is because of this. I mean, last week, this one, I shared this one last week. I gave y'all a warning about the, about the bear flag. I told y'all not to get Disney. I think it was two weeks ago, actually, because somebody asked about it. I told y'all not to get Disney out here because it could drop to 140. It dropped to 140 and it stayed here at this level, right? And right now it's about to curl back up and I think there is a good chance that this is uh, this is definitely like the bottom and that we're going to move a little bit higher. It got crushed from the highs of 200 all the way down to 130. And then if you look on the one hour time frame and you zoom in over here, you can clearly see that it's showing a bullish rectangle on the chart that broke out today. It broke out today. It's right over here. All right. So it broke out. Now, tomorrow, will we see some type of like worst case scenario if we see some turbulence with the market? If, if we see it, all right, it doesn't have to happen. But if it does happen, we may see this thing drop all the way down to 140 again before bouncing and going all the way up to like 147 maybe 148 dollars do not be surprised if you see that but i don't think that's going to happen i think that it's just going to open up at exactly the same price and then run to 147 that's that's what i think so definitely keep this one on your watches for a bullish move tomorrow now let's talk about you guys stocks of interest the first one which is a good one. Um, somebody asked a really good question about this stock. And this stock is AMBA. AMBA. All right. Now with this one, with this one, it's looking decent. It's looking decent. This is Umbrella Incorporation. Now we're going to look at the daily. And the daily dropped from the highs of $227 for a... 45% drop all the way down to these previous lows right here. I'm bullish on the stock. I'm not bearish at all. Like I'm really, really 
I can't be bearish at these lows, especially after it bounces perfectly from these previous highs. And also, if you look on the chart, the combination of these three candles right here, this is a morning star, okay? Sign of a reversal, a morning star. So the next one, if everything goes smoothly, right? The next one may be a green move all the way up towards 150 bucks like that like this all right um i'm not bearish on it at these levels and it has a tendency to pretty much recover after every major drop like the one over here it recovered and then now we have another one over here and we are currently recovering all right so long-term investors really really love this one um if you're going to buy stock again this is a good place to do so if you're going to buy contracts make sure you have a lot of time on the contracts because I don't know how slow or how fast this move is going to happen okay and it also has earnings they don't really know the dates well it says right here on March 1st but the exclamation point means it's a little bit uncertain so it may be like March 2nd or the day before that but either way it's gonna be in this time frame that's when they're gonna announce their earnings report okay now the next one that we're going to address in today's video, we're gonna talk about VALE, VEL. All right, now with VEL, I shared this one with y'all when it was at around like $15. And this one, I think I shared it like two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago for a long, all the way up to that line. And it pretty much did just that. It went all the way up to like 16.7, filled that whole gap right here. There's more gaps all the way to like these levels. There's more gaps to fill. So to be bearish on it is, is not wise for me to be fully bearish on it. Yes, it is rolling over, but it could just roll over for one day and then immediately start reversing. Like tomorrow it could open up lower and then it could be a green day followed by another like green week. Okay, so short term, slightly bearish. Over the next few weeks, definitely not bearish. I think it will recover or just chop around here until earnings and then earnings is going to bring it up above that red line right here. All right. So that's my thoughts on the stock It's trying to make a move higher. It is. So if you play this well, there is some money to be made on here. And plus the contracts are like super, super, super cheap for those of y'all who like that. Um, so it's definitely something to like. To keep it in your, in your watch list at least there's there could be some opportunities on here um the next one that we're going to address that stock is s c h w schwab and right now schwab is kind of like it's not doing what the market has been doing especially today today was a huge green day and this one did not follow through it has like kind of a double bottom over here. There are these long wicks right there would indicate a lot of buyers, but you want to be, you, it's, it's pretty risky. Like if you're going long just because of this, it's a pretty risky move. All right. Like whatever happens next could determine where it's going to go, whether it opens up lower and especially if it breaks below $85, then we can see a massive flush to 80. All right, but right now I'm leaning. I'm I'm kind of neutral on it. I'm kind of neutral on it. I think it's just gonna stay at the same price. Like I can't be. It had earnings before, and ever since it had earnings, it's been like on a slow downtrend over here. And the next few days are going to be very, very like choppy. It's gonna be very ugly. These wicks are going to be there again. There's gonna be candles with long wicks, and it's not gonna go too far it's just going to chill between like 84 dollars and 87 dollars for a few more days all right there's really nothing exciting here i don't i don't see any i'm not trading this one like i'm really really not so that's my thoughts on that stock and that is the end of the video again do not forget to annihilate the like button for the youtube algorithm as always it helps the channel tremendously and it allows more people to get this knowledge as well also if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so already definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications that way you don't miss out 
on these post-market analysis videos which are released every single day in the afternoon and a pre-market analysis videos which are released from Monday to Friday at exactly 8.20 a.m. Central Time. If you would like to be part of a private Discord community, you can find that as the first link in the description of the video below. If you're not following us on social media, you can find me at Paul and Guma and at Pedanology Lab on Instagram and on Twitter. And lastly, if all of this is brand new to you, if you're interested in getting started in the stock market, I left some very basic step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below. Step one to step three. It only takes about 10 to 15 minutes for you to get signed up with all the tools you need to start trading immediately. You can also get two free stocks that lead up to $1,850 right after signing up with Webull using the third link in the description of the video below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguma, the Pernodology Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in the next video.